Good morning. I am Lisa Alexander, Director of Marketing with Moda Fabrics, and I'd like to welcome you to Fall 2011 uh, International Quilt Market. And I'm going to give you a little tour of what's been happening the past couple days in the Moda booth. I'm going to start out uh, first with uh, a new designer for us, Jen Ski, and she has a uh, her first introductory line is called Ten Little Things. Uh, the quilt on the wall is featuring her uh, line and it's a pattern by Cluck Cluck Sew. And the neat thing about it, it's definitely a boys line. There's cute little uh, trucks and cars and owls. But this one has been quilted as if they're little tire spokes and, and roads. So you could even use it as a little play mat for little boys to play with uh, their cars. Uh, this particular little book, it is made with one of the panels, a jelly roll or a uh, black QB2 bias that comes pre-made. Uh, on the cover of the book has a little zipper pocket that holds your chalk and your uh, marble flannel as an eraser. Then each of the sections from the panel jelly roll all the way around and and chalk cloth. So if you haven't tried chalk cloth this is a wonderful uh, fun product to use in your store. Grommets. So it teaches several techniques plus it's a fun little project to make. So this will be a project sheet that's on the Moda website and will also ship with the fabric collection. Uh, while I'm coming around the corner, I wanted to talk about the fabric that is on the table covers and chair covers. The theme of the booth is Made with Love or, and or Made with Moda, hopefully. Everyone's making lots of great things with Moda, but we do have these fabrics for sale. Great ironing board covers, great tote bags, you know, it's a little bit of a canvas weight, so some interesting different fabrications. Showing you a few more other things that we did with the booth and the theme of the Made with Love is we've, you know, junk stores and finding some cool old pieces, painted the legs and, and reupholstered uh, some furniture using that fabric. So that was fun. I think we'll uh, the next quilt is the Howard Marcus uh, Collections for a Cause, which is Friendship. This is the original quilt from the 1850s and it was a friendship quilt and you can see the signatures in, in the middle. And then this is the reproduction of that. Uh, we were definitely influenced by the red and white quilt show that was in New York last year. And so chose this one from Mark's collection this time. This comes as a kit. It's pre-cut pre uh, backgrounds and sashing pieces. And this, one, this particular one, because of time, is fused but still looks uh, quite nice. But uh, then there's all, also teals and browns to help round out the group. Uh, and, uh, this is Adila Hoy's new line. It's called A Walk in the Woods. And it has the little red, little red riding hood, the sly little fox, little mushrooms. And so that's just a fun line. This is uh, what will be the Moda Project Sheet made by Sherry McConnell. And then this is um, another one of our patterns that's used, used jelly rolls featuring that. Coming around the corner is uh, Ooh La La by Bunny Hill. So this is one of just many of the projects that she has made. Um, little owls applicate across the, uh, across the top and we fussy cutted some of her little very fine detailed uh, drawings on it. But the cool thing I want to show you is the back of this quilt, which is done with, with um, snuggles. So, and look at that quilting on that. So don't be afraid to quilt on the back of Snuggles. I'll show you another quilt too, but we really think the more quilting, the better on this. And I think that uh, they did a really good job of that one. Jelly rolls, charm pack are all available per color. We've got them in gray, pink, and blue, so you can mix and match or just get pink if you need it for a little girl's project. Uh, next on the list is a really simple uh, zigzag quilt. It features one gray jelly roll and one uh, white jelly roll and, and you get this zigzag pattern. So it will be a pattern that ships with our pre-cuts. But I also wanted to show you some of our new colors of pre-cuts featuring the Bella Solids. So these, these are designed to use on, their own, on your own or mix them with several different of the, of the print groups. So 
added sales, added projects, added, di added different um, options on some of your favorite patterns and designs. So you'll start seeing these a lot with a lot of the Moda designers patterns on the Moda Bake Shop and in several places like that. Available in um, Jelly Rolls, Charm Squares, and Layer Cakes. Then coming around the corner is the next collection is Papillon by Three Sisters. And it, it was inspired by uh, this quilt that was found in the uh, London flea markets at Porta Portobello Road. So you can see the um, big wide signature piece as shown here. The blues there and, and some of the other bigger prints. So the quilt on the wall is a project sheet. And then this quilt is designed and made using a, a fat eighth bundle. And the uh, pattern is included in the fat eighth bundle. So all you have to do is an easy one to kit, put the fat eighth bundle, add your couple of borders, easy quick project and a uh, fun sale. Working around the corner, we seem to always get one of the sales managers in the video. So this is Joseph Galza again this year. He, Hi. Uh, <laughs> the quilt behind me is from Laundry Basket Quilts, and the collection is called Love Letters. And uh, Aditta definitely has made a reputation for intricate quilts, but she does fantastic projects with batiks and prints and mixes the two of those together. And for the first time ever, she has pre-cut, so she's super excited about that. Has projects with honey buns, jelly rolls, all kinds of things. Um, this, this particular quilt is um, kind of a continu continuing pros project that we did with um, Simplify and Quilts of Valor. We had a just one star and we put out the word to, uh, we needed to get 1,800 stars and our goal was to make 100 quilts in 100 days. We made about 150 quilts and have distributed those to uh, different military hospitals. But now we have uh, hundreds and hundreds more uh, qu quilt blocks. So we're actually making some kits for the store owners if they'd like to have a charity day in their shop. And this is the quilt featuring 60 stars. You get a box with all the stars in it and the uh, fat quarter that you need. And all you need to supply is the backing batting and bindings. So. The co collection behind me is called Quilt Bo Blocks and it's from a new designer Ellen Luckett Baker and she is the author of this book from Chronicle called 123 So. So her interpretation of quilt blocks with a more of a modern twist like you can see here this is her interpretation of the very classic double wedding ring. Uh, the quilt that's on the wall behind us she designed for us as a project sheet but what's interesting about that is all of the uh, triangle pieces are actually from this particular fabric so it looks like you've sat there and pieced all those triangles together but it's a very very simple uh, project and then on the back we actually used the wedding ring pattern but we quilted from the back so we just followed the circles of the fabric and then that's what gave us this interesting design on the front that that mimics this on the back so that's an interesting way to quilt is actually flip the quilt over and use the design on the fabric on the back here's here's more samples uh all the all the patterns and designs are from ellen's book one two three sew but she just really starts out with teaching people how to sew using very basic uh, projects and that's why it's she goes on a building block process you start with something make it small and and adventure onto that so again this is featuring some of her little projects cute little kids skirt what I love about this one is it's totally reversible I wish they had these for adults we would double our wardrobe uh, another just a cute little apron and again using the double wedding ring fabric and uh, she's also made you know pleated this fabric and I believe this is a cushion cover or a pillow cover Another one of our uh, newest designers is um, Malka from, this is her new book, Fresh Quilting. And uh, she actually has always done things by uh, hand dyeing things. And so when, when we were able to reproduce, this is her signature piece 
all hand dyed fabrics, but it actually was what inspired the line. And this is what we were able to produce from that. So we're really excited to have her on board. Um, she's made all kinds of nice little projects. It's actually a printed fabric. Looks like the hand dyed, looks like a batik, works nicely in with other fabrications. The pillows. The next quilt on the wall is Good Fortune by Kate Spain. And uh, Kate, des Kate designed that quilt and it's, it's gonna be in a future quilt mania. Oh, excuse me, let me go back to Good Fortune. Kate made fortune cookies. Excuse me for using my teeth, but let's see what your fortune is for today. Good Fortune will come to you in January 2012. All throughout the week, we've had several book signings. We wanna thank the publishers, the authors, and all of the people involved to make that happen. Um, because without their great patterns and designs and inspirations, uh, and many of them feature Moda fabrics. Another new designer for us is Lucy Summers. She's from the UK, and she is a block print artist, and she's been featured in a lot of interweave publications and Stitch and Quilting Arts, etc. cetera. So um, this is her feathers quilt. So Lucy and her mom used to own a quilt shop and so they're very familiar with our industry and the quilt on the wall behind us is going to be a project sheet. So it's a, a string quilt and it does uh, combine and feature a lot of the Bella solids. And here is another project that is actually going to be in a future interweave publication, but I wanted to show you the technique of the, the reverse applique and then how interesting quilting with the variegated thread, but how simple and effective that is. And Jean, I don't know, can you zoom up a bit? And I wanted to show them something about these fabrics. Um, in fact, several of the salesmen in the meeting had even suggested it. What a fun fabric to get your, get the, and color in and make your own, own designs, you know, make some book covers and projects for kids and create some of your own fabrics from that. She's made a few little stuffed pin cushions. She actually designs and makes mugs and they're available on her Etsy site. But that kind of shows what her graphic style is. Um, every hour um, when, you, when you've been here at Market, we've had a drawing and have given away some fantastic prizes including quilt samples. You could win an actual quilt for your booth, uh, Juki sewing machines, AccuQuilt, Slice. Um, me and my sister, who were fabulous, actually made three different quilts and uh, 12 patterns that they've donated as, as prizes. So if you didn't get a chance to come to market this year, please, please don't miss it next time and make sure you stop by and see what's all going on at Moda. So all these people still need to come back and get their prize or we'll ship them to them when we get home. So.